Hello everybody. Um, I want to take some just a little bit of time to explain the project that I'm working on that I have been working on. Um, this is a magnetic loop controller for a magnetic loop antenna. It's based around the Arduino Mega 2560. You'll see that guy right here. Um, that has uh, that's the microcontroller. It has all the the program and and stuff that uh, that does all the work. There are some peripherals that I'll explain what they are. Down here in the corner is an SWR bridge. I got that from kitsandparts.com. It basically um, reads forward and reverse uh, voltage, and uh, we'll put that into this Arduino. and We'll do some math on it and get uh, a standing wave ratio. Um, there's a rotary encoder up here that uh, I'll show you in a little bit. We'll uh, turn this stepper motor at a slow rate so I can fine tune. Switches across the top here is a tune button. If I push that, uh, it changes the Yesu 817ND uh, to FM mode um, and then keys the mic to read the SWR. Slow in concert with down will move the, the stepper at a slow rate. Slow and Press at the same time as up will move the stepper at a, at a at a slow rate the other way, and down and up move at a at a faster rate. Um, there's a four by sixteen LCD display down here. You'll see that we're currently reading a frequency. This is the forward and reverse voltage, or actually it's not a voltage because it's coming from that SWR bridge. Um, these are just numbers uh, in the Arduino. From that, I calculate the SWR. I also read the SWR from the 817. Um, that's typically given in just a number, and uh, is it coincidentally the number of bars that is showed on the display. Um, power switch down here, up here. This is uh, this is a remote piece. I, I have that uh, when I get finished. That's going to be close to the antenna. Uh, this is how we get to that remote piece. So it's just an RJ45 connector and um, some Cat5 cable that uh, will take some voltage out here to, to drive this stepper motor. There's also a couple of limit switches down here for mechanical limits. Uh, if I hit those, the, the uh, stepper turns off and doesn't rotate anymore. Um, a couple of power supplies up here. There's a 5-volt power supply for all the 5-volt circuitry that, that's here on the board. 10 volts goes specifically to the stepper motor to drive that. This red board in here is the stepper motor driver board. That's uh, I got that from Spark Fun. It's the easy driver. Um, let's see. This thing also does some rig control. Uh, you'll see that here. It goes to the ACC jack in the back of the uh, 817ND. Um, some things that I do is uh, I can turn the PTT on and off, like I mentioned. Uh, reading frequency, changing mode. I can read and set the mode on the on the 817. The variable capacitor that I have that you see down here in this right hand corner is a 12.5 picofarad to 432.5 picofarad. It has a a six to one drive here, which means that uh, it takes three total revolutions um, to go around before it goes from all the way open to all the way closed. Um, this is a NEMA 14 stepper motor and I think that's about it. <clears throat> so I'll uh, demonstrate uh, how this all works now. Um, if you uh, if I hit tune See, I have a, a 50 ohm dummy load here, so I should have a one-to-one -one SWR, and you'll see that's exactly what I have. So forward is 306, and reverse is around 12, <clears throat> and the FT817 reads a zero FWR. <clears throat> now watch the 817 while I do this. It's currently in uh, lower sideband. See how it changes to uh, FM and then goes back to lower side band. Um, let's see, the uh, switches, we'll, we'll work with those for a little bit. Like I mentioned, just pushing the slow switch doesn't do anything. If I push the down button, I'm gonna hit that limit switch. I can go up, and you notice when I go down, 
it won't go any further. <clears throat> go back the other way. I can go down slowly. Go up slowly. And then the rotary encoder is really for fine tuning. So you can see that it's moving just ever so slightly. Okay. Um, and that's about it. Um, that's uh, what I've been working on. You can see that uh, there's a, a little bit of a bug in here. Remember the, the frequency was 14175, a little bit of garbage. Typically that happens when I turn the, the rotary encoder. Watch this. And now it's not going to do it. Typically that's what happens. I think that there's some... Oh, look at that. So there's some noise that gets on the line. I'll have to put some bypass capacitors in there um, to uh, get rid of that noise. Anyway, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks a lot.